So very warm welcome once again to my channel Simulation Engineer. I hope you all are doing really fine and have a good day. As you can see today's topic is correlation using WPS spreadsheet. It will be a small hands-on tutorial. So what is actually correlation? Correlation it can be defined as a simple and effective way to understand the relationship between two variables or more than two variables and also to carry out the correlation function and interpret the results. So one can uh, see or monitor the behavior of several variables uh, and you can visualize uh, the trend, how the two or more than two variables uh, uh, re uh, relate with each other. And you can also then perform the easiest statistic, uh, statistical calculation in WPS spreadsheet. So a very important indicator when you wanted to do uh, any data correlation in uh, WPS spreadsheet, uh, it also simply uh, also equally applies to Microsoft Excel and Google Slides if you are using them. So it's uh, the correlation coefficient. Correlation coefficient is an indicator or it's kind of a degree of Maya uh, to give you an idea about the trend of the correlation. If it's really strong, it's weak or it's moderate and the coefficient is always uh, between minus one and one. So it can be really a positive correlation and it can be a negative correlation. So, and the coefficient, uh, correlation coefficient measures the strength and the direction of your linear relationship. The larger the absolute value of the coefficient it is, stronger is the relationship. So just to demonstrate, uh, there are about three different types of uh, correlations. So first one is the positive correlation. We can see this plot uh, on the x-axis and y-axis. So uh, there are there is a one variable so if we increase the value along the x-axis the variable value on the y-axis also increases so that means uh, that it's a positive correlation so the value of r is plus one and it's a linear relationship and it's a positive relationship value of r means that it's very very strong if you really one is so Another plot showing a negative correlation, r equals to minus 1. So it's again the extreme value. And as we go on to increase the value, we can see on the x-axis, uh, the, the variable on the y-axis, it decreases. So it's again a linear relationship, but it is going in the negative direction and its ex extremities, it's again very strong. So we have already seen, we have mentioned that it uh, the re correlation coefficient uh, it always lies between plus one and minus one the third function or the third plot will be another situation that it that there you might get some relationship between variables that there is a no no correlation between them then you will be getting such a behavior or such plotting it it's like a scattered plot so then we will denote this as a no correlation or there is no correlation meaning denoting your uh, correlation coefficient r equals to zero fine so now we will uh, see as uh, before we really move on to our demo uh, the demonstration of uh, correlation function usage in wps spreadsheet the function which is available in this app spreadsheet app it is called correlation function so you, we can see it is it has two two input arguments so it is called as corel so it's a short word for correlation we have to define set of two arrays array one and array two so the two variables you will provide uh, where it's again explained here array one is the first range of values array two is the second range of your values and make sure that both arrays should have equal length. That is, they should have the same dimensions. Okay, now, uh, this this was up till now, a small brief overview or brief information, how it really works and what is its usage. Now I will uh, try to demonstrate how you can do the correlation in WPS. So let's move to WPS spreadsheet. So, 
this is uh, the WPS correlation file, um, Excel file, or you can call it a spreadsheet file in WPS. And I have a data set or sample data set of four variables, which is plotted here. And on the right side, you can see uh, the plot of these four uh, samples, sample data sets. So sample A, B, C, and D, and they can be recognized with their colors. So the legends uh, is plotted here. You can see that. And we have uh, a data points. Uh, in total, we have one, two, three, four, five data points. So you can see on the x-axis, so one, two, three, four, five. So, and each data point is denoted by the dot. And now what we will do is we will uh, try to complete our uh, correlation table or correlation matrix. And we will see how this, um, uh, this data actually uh, correlates with each other. So um, first of all, what you normally do is you do uh, a row and column of your sample data sets. So we have four data sets, uh, sample data sets. So we will make uh, a rows and column table, so which is called correlation matrix. And, cor and then we will be determining the correlation coefficient. So if we correlate A and A, so it will be really one. So it's, it applies to every, all the other sample or the data set or variables So B versus B again one. So you can see it's the diagonal matrix is like they have one value. So it's an identity kind of matrix. And then what we will, how we will start. So may, and uh, one has to also uh, keep in mind that these, uh, you can say these values are, will be like symmetric. So if it's, the, I, once I will calculate this one, uh, I will get the same values. If I do B versus A, or if I do A versus B, you will get the same results. So let's, uh, let's start. So you click in in this cell. So we wanted to have a correlation between A and B and to see the trend, uh, what kind of correlation coefficient we will be getting. So we will now go, once we select our cell, you go to the formula bar, press equals, and then you type co-rel. So it, you see the moment you just simply type the initial prefix or words, so it is already giving you that it's it's a correlation function which returns the correlation coefficient between two data sets. So to complete uh, the formula, you just double click and now it is giving you these arguments. We have already seen our in our slides. So array one, array one, I will be saying I wanted to have a correlation between sample data set A and then I will press comma and then this is now getting bold. So array two, now I have to give this input value. So I wanted to have a data set relationship between A and B, done. So now I will simply say this tick mark option and we will see that we are getting a positive value. So it's not really a very strong relationship, correlationship or whatever you wanted to call as a correlation. It has a positive value. It's kind of a weak to moderate trend uh, towards uh, uh, the A value. And this can also be seen uh, from the plot. So we have a sample data set, which is uh, blue color and the B one, which is orange color. So if we see now here, so the blue values, so if once if the A value is increasing, the B value is increasing, but not really uh, with the same uh, intensity as of value A. So it, it is going in the positive direction. That's why you could say it's kind of a positive kind of a positive trend so this is your orange one and then it's here and then uh, the a value decreases but still it is um, kind of a small decrease in it but it, it almost follows the same trend so both a and b so that's why you can say it's a positive correlation uh, all right so then we will move on to the next cell we wanted to do a correlation between sample data set a and c we will use the same procedure so we will say corel function this time i wanted to do a data correlation between a and sample c okay now we will see that the correlation function gives us a correlation coefficient of minus 0.5 which means that it's a negative correlation uh, having said that we have already seen that uh, the correlation 
it 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 measures the degree of uh, your um, relationship between the variable between a value of plus one and minus one. So minus 0.5 means that it is trending towards the negative value. So A1 is the blue and C is the red uh, red value. Now if you can see for our plot, uh, so this is the start, so blue and the red. So I increases this value and it's kind of decreasing. And once the sample A data set decreasing, uh, the value of sample C is increasing. So it's kind of a negative, a negative relationship. That's why we can say that it is a negative correlation. Now we move on to uh, the next correlation between A and uh, sample data set D. So press comma, we choose the data set D. All right, so it's much higher value as we have seen the correlation between A and B, it was plus 0.45, now it's about plus 0.77. So it's approximately nearing towards the value of one. And we can also confirm that. So blue sample A and green is a sample D. So if we can compare that they are almost closely correlating with each other. So this data set. So one can also conclude from this uh, value that the relationship between A and D is um, very strong. So, okay, now um, just for the formality, I will uh, I will also complete all these other tables. Uh, so, and then we can see how it really compares between B and C. So uh, we will start first of all with the um, array b and then i will press comma once again and then i will say the value sample data set c so it's a it's a very weak relationship of uh, positive uh, uh, correlation it can also be seen if we really see that a comparison between the b and c values so the orange and the red it's a very very uh, weak uh, trend towards positive because some some at some data points the trend is really in the opposite direction uh, overall it's kind of following the same trend but not really similarly we can also do a correlation between b and d once again you will choose your uh, sample data set of b press comma again go for the d column and then we will compare that. So it's again positive, again a weak positive relationship trending towards from weak to moderate values can also be confirmed. Uh, so from B and D, so the orange and the, and the green one, this is your orange plot and this is the green one. So it's increasing every time you increase the degrees and also it's small decrease, there's a small dip in. If you increase with the data points, you increase on the data points, uh, you can see that uh, it's kind of a weak to moderate positive correlationship so the last one uh, is the one between c the sample data c and uh, d all right so we will go for our data set c we press the comma and then we go for the value of d's and that's it so it's uh, a very weak trend of a negative correlationship so if we compare the value of c and D, uh, one can uh, do a direct comparison. So this is the red one, and the D one is the green one. It's a, it's a really a negative, negative trend. So you can see uh, it's it's not really very difficult uh, how to do a correlationship uh, in uh, WPS spreadsheet. As also mentioned earlier, it is equally true. It is equally valid also if you are using Microsoft Excel or if you're using uh, Google slide, uh, Google, uh, Google Sheets. So it, uh, it is applicable to other uh, spreadsheet functions uh, uh, that can be used in other apps. So the, it's a very uh, handy tool, this correlation uh, function. If you wanted to do uh, data analysis using some uh, statistical calculations uh, and to get a direct uh, relationship uh, between your uh, sample data sets, um, one has to always make sure that all your sample data sets, they should have same length, right? So if this is first array, second, third, fourth, whatever, so in terms of columns, you have the data available, they all have the same length. So the number of entries should be equal for each 
uh, each of your columns. So I think now in the end uh, we can summarize uh, in such a way that we have seen that how we can do the correlation using WPS spreadsheet. And we have also seen how we can uh, use a sample data set to perform the correlation in WPS spreadsheet that you have to make your correlation table uh, and then or correlation metrics and you will determine the correlation coefficient. Uh, what you always first of all do is if you have a sample data set available, just uh, make a plot of that one. And then um, in parallel, you do the calculation in your metrics, uh, correlation metrics to identify the correlation coefficients. Once you have done this, then uh, based on your correlation coefficient, you can do a direct comparison having a look at your sample data set in the plotting. And you can choose which variables uh, or your desired values you want you to have a comparison. And we have seen that uh, this WPS uh, spreadsheet offers uh, this correlation function which uh, which also facilitates uh, in using a statistical approach uh, and in order to determine the relationship between the variables so i think uh, with this i conclude uh, my today's video i hope you like this video and uh, if uh, you think that there are also some other interesting topics you want me uh, to do a video on these topics just let me know in the comment section and uh, like my video if you think it's really worth doing it and um, keep supporting me I need your support and uh, also uh, share my channel among your friends and family and colleagues and, and um, I have already also done uh, previously uh, different uh, kinds of WPS uh, tips and tricks. I have made a separate playlist. So just go to my channel. You can visit that. I will also mention it here, the link also. So uh, you can uh, even, even go through this one and uh, see if you find some other data analytic uh, tips and tricks which might be helpful for you guys too. So I wish you everyone a very good day. Take care of yourself and uh, thanks for watching. Bye bye till next time.